Yeah, I think that's going to pose a huge problem for people like me who uh, I live in Alaska, but we travel the nation. And so what's going to happen is if there's any mail forwarding issues, there's going to be a huge disconnect between that ticket getting mailed to the address that is tied to my, my license plate versus me being actually able to get that ticket. Beginning on June 8th, the city of Galveston is going to uh, begin sending our Sewell paid parking tickets by mail instead of placing those on vehicles. And that's going to be done for a couple of reasons. Number one, it keeps the lane of traffic on the seawall. The seawall can be very busy during the summer and it keeps things moving a little bit quicker. And it really, it, it lessens the encounters between people who are getting a paid parking ticket and the attendant. Seawall parking is enforced daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's every day, weekends included. It's $2 an hour and a maximum of $16 a day. Um, there is a two hour minimum on the seawall, so uh, it's four, $4 basically minimum to park on the seawall. And then well, first off, I hope that I don't get a ticket. Uh, <laughs> I'm so grateful for the season pass uh, that allows residents of Galveston to, to be able to park here and, and not have to worry about it. But for, you know, for our tourists, I know that that can be challenging sometimes to try to figure out the, the system. With the paid parking fees, we use those to improve our seawall. So we use that for some of the lighting that you kind of see here along the side. That's um, a safety feature and it also looks nice. Um, and then also the planners, um, just different improvements that have been on the seawall in the last couple of years. And